the coefficients of friction between blocks A and C and the horizontal surfaces are mu s 0.24 and mu k 0.2. Knowing that m a equals 5 kilograms, m b and m c are both 10 kilograms, determine the tension in the cord and the acceleration of each block. Now, before jumping to conclusions and trying to find the acceleration, you have to actually check that this system will move. Why? Because the problem gives us the static friction. This is just a hint. This is just a warning. Please check if this system will move. Whenever you see mu s, it means that you have to make the check if this system is going to move or not. And to do that, we have to assume first that this system is static, which means the summation of forces all over the system is equal to zero, and then solve for the friction forces under A and C. And after finding the friction forces, we check our conditions, whether they are less than the maximum static friction or more than the maximum static friction. So we start by putting our tension in equilibrium, and then we put the friction force for A, for C, and we put also the weight of B. And by solving this system as a static system, everything is at rest. So for A, we have T equals the friction. For C, the same thing. T is equal to the friction. And for B, 2T equals to the weight, which is MBG. And from this equation, we can find the tension, which is the weight of B over 2. And this tension is equal to both friction forces, Fa and Fc. And by solving, so both friction forces will be equal to the tension, which is Mg over 2, which is 49 newton. The final step is to check for the maximum static friction force for both blocks. So for A, the maximum static friction is mu s times Na. Na will be the weight because this is a horizontal uh, plane. So 0.24 times Ma times G will be equal to 11.77 Newton. The same thing for C. We calculate the maximum static force, which is mu s times Nc. And this gives us 23.54 newtons. And you can clearly see in both cases that the actual friction force is more than the maximum static friction in both cases, which means that motion will occur. And we can now solve this system using the summation of forces equals to Ma with the friction forces as kinetic frictions of mu k times n. And now we know that the system is moving. Let's see how we solve this problem. Let's start by the unknowns. We want to consider the normals as unknowns because they are actually known. Na is equal to Mag and Nc is equal to Mcg. The friction also in this case of kinetic motion is known. So Fa is equal to mu k times Na and Fc is equal to mu k times Nc. So normals and frictions are knowns which means we are left with the tension, which is unknown number one, acceleration of A, unknown number two, acceleration of C, unknown number three, and the acceleration of B, which is unknown number four. And to solve for four unknowns, we need four equations. Equation number one is the summation of forces of A, summation of forces of C, equation number two, summation of forces of B, equation number three, and the last equation is going to be the length of the cable where we can find the relationship between AA, AC, and AB, and this is equation number four. So starting with the length of the cable, if we take a datum here for A, this becomes SA, same for C, this becomes SC, and this becomes SB. So if we add the length, it will become SA plus 
to SB plus SC equals to L, which leads to this acceleration equation, which is AA plus AC plus 2AB is equal to zero. However, note here that the direction of the acceleration of A is to the left with SA and for C to the right with SC and for B down with SB. However, if you want to avoid confusion later on with the negative signs, do the following. Assume the positive direction of each block in the actual physical direction of motion, which means that if B moves down, A moves right, and C moves left. So practically, all what you need to do with your acceleration equation is the following. Change the sign of the acceleration of A because it's against SA. Change the sign of the acceleration of C also because it is opposite to SC. And keep the sign of AB because it's in the same direction of SB. And by doing that, you can have an acceleration relationship between B and both A and C. You can do this step or just leave the second equation as it is, it doesn't matter. And now it's time to find our equations of motion, which is straightforward. So for block A, we have the summation of forces equal to MA. We have the tension, the weight, the normal, and now we have the kinetic friction, which is mu k times Na equals to Ma times Aa. And note the direction of Aa here and A also in the figure. And for block C, we do the same. We have the tension, the weight, the normal, and the kinetic friction. Note that in both cases, the kinetic friction is always against the motion. And this leads to MC times AC, which is in the actual direction of motion that we just assumed. And finally, the equation of B, which is positive down, and it has the two tensions against the weight. So for block A, we have the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero, so we just calculate the normal force. And then we assume the positive direction for the summation of forces in the horizontal direction, and this gives us T minus the kinetic friction, which is 0.2 times Na or Mag, is equal to Ma times Aa. For block C, we have the summation of forces in the y direction, which gives us Nc equals to Mg, and then the assumed positive direction, we have the summation of forces of T minus the kinetic friction equals to mc times ac. And finally, for block B, we have the positive down. We have only one equation. So mg minus 2t is equal to mb times ab. So after substitution, those are our three equations for block A, block C, and block B. And note here that we have four unknowns. T, AA, AC, and AB. However, we also have one additional equation to use, which is the acceleration equation. So now we have four equations with four unknowns, and we solve for the tension and the three accelerations. And just as a final check after finding the numbers, just put AA and AC in this equation and divide them by 2, and make sure that you get the same number here of AB, which is 3.08.